Well, hello everybody. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. So today I'm doing restorative agriculture. Up here is my front paddock and uh, dirt has built up along the fence line and it's running water off the fields and out into the ditches. Uh, I would prefer that the water would go down into my pond right there. So if I break this high spots that are all along the fence row of the paddock, then I can uh, do a couple of things. I could plant some red buds in there, which I would enjoy more than these mesquite and hawthorns. And uh, also I could plant wildflowers, native wildflowers around there. The cattle might leave them, they might not leave them, I, I don't know, but at the very least I could get that busted down. Uh, because I'd like to redirect all of the water that's uh, coming from over there, and it comes down, it hits here, and it just goes to waste. It doesn't uh, do anything. It runs out into a creek. So that's my little project today. I don't know how far down I'll get, but I, I would like to get a, a little ways down. So I'm going to try it with my bucket first and just see if I could scooch the dirt back uh, one side or another. Maybe I could push it all one way and uh, then come in and scoop it. Uh, that's what I've been doing before I use my backhoe. So uh, let's let's get go to work on this side. I'm gonna drive around to the other side. Well, dang it. I don't know, I think I need to come into both sides and pick it up. Well, we'll learn together what I'll do. How about that? to point out that those look like they're already just twigs that just just started growing I mean there ain't much to those
So I, I'm going to do that on both sides. I'll make a pass one way and make a pass the other. Then I'll get in there with a shovel and I'll knock that out. And what I'm doing is uh, I have a, a natural drive. I don't, uh, I'm not going to pave it or dump gravel on it. it it's my field. So then I'm just going to fill in the, the bumps with the uh, leftover and grade it flat. So let's, let's get some video of me grading flat. How about that? All right, the wind blew my camera down, but uh, I'll get that. Now there's rain coming, so some of this might get, uh, you know, washed away, but um, you'll be surprised. It'll pack in there. It'll be all right. Weeds and all. They call that lettuce. Uh, the uh, underlayment. I don't do agri uh, monoculture. I do uh, natives mixed with, uh, oh, I'm gonna guess there's Mahaya in here, little coastal. Anyway, uh, the native stuff under there is called lettuce, clover, things like that. And that's uh, good for the horses. Let me try to get this graded again without the wind blowing it away. Giving up. Not giving up. Sticking that tripod in the ground, burying it even. It don't matter. Let's put it lower and see if that fixes that problem. It's just too clunky to, to grade proper. But that means the grass, as soon as it gets a little water, it'll get in there and start filling that in. Let me keep going, see how far down I can go.
got neighbors come visit. Well, it's getting a little late, but uh, you can see that that works out pretty well. I'm able to level the low spots on the, the drive and get them packed in. I feel a lot better even with the tractor. I've been working on that fence row for a while. Let me tell you, I think the fire ants built that up, but there is uh, a lot more dirt there than uh, meets the eye. Well, I'm gonna work a little bit after uh, the sun goes down. It's piling up behind that cloud because rain is coming and I, I want to be able to plant wildflowers uh, all the way to that mesquite right there. So I'll plant uh, wildflowers, and I might get some red buds this year in here. But um, I don't know if this is from years of discing and the animals packing it down, but there's six, eight inches, or it could be, uh, you know, fire ants building it up. So I think uh, if I stop recording and I just get serious about, uh, if I get serious about getting this done, then I can wrap it up for tonight. But there that way the water can run down and make it to my stock tank i suppose this is a pretty windy sounding video so i thank you for those i i don't know if i'll overdub or uh, what it'll sound like we'll find out together but uh let me turn you off uh, like subscribe follow me along i'm going to do some additional work here uh, with my lights and I don't want to be recording while I do that. So a uh, bob wire around the neck or something. I don't want that. All right. Like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.